What's up, my friends? You know, uh, I'll tell you something that I've learned, and it's a God thing, uh, I believe. Uh, and, I, and I think I say this often, but seek and you shall find. Seek and you shall find, uh, regardless of the situation or what you're seeking. Uh, we are one with God. We are one with God, connected, literally. Um, God is within us. We are consciousness of God, part of the universe. And we are in this body here having a human experience. And so when we get caught up in the good, the bad, and the ugly, our brain takes over and we're flooded with fears and concerns and what ifs and what didn't happen and what should happen and what I want and what I don't want and all of these things that clutter our life, our wisdom. And I've learned over the years that everything that I think I know is what holds me back and what stops me from having successes and love and finance and business and whatever it is that I'm clogged up in at the time. It's what I think I know. It's what I worry about. It's what I have concerns about. That's what stops us. But when I seek, when there's a situation and it's hurtful, it's in my heart, whatever it is, and I start to ask and seek, there's this, there's this strong, I think is the right word. There's this energy of, I need to figure this out. Why? What is happening? And it's this powerful urge to know and grow. And when you're in that state, the answers come. When you quiet your mind, the answers come. And they come in many different ways. They come over the radio. They come on social media. They come on an email you got. They come from somebody walking by and you hear something. Listen and pay attention and the answers will come. Listen and pay attention and the answers will come. And pay attention because I'll tell you a mistake I've made in the last year and a half, almost two years. I tried to hold on to something that wasn't for me. I tried to hold on to something that wasn't for me. I thought it was. I wanted it. I wanted it badly. I did everything I could to keep it. But it wasn't enough. Mm. I learned a ton during this time of chasing and working and, and self-development and all the things that I was doing to try and keep this thing that I wanted. But no matter what I did, it wasn't enough because it wasn't meant for me. This chase, this, I don't know what you want to call it, this um, movement, this energy I put towards it was definitely a learning experience. I learned a million things about me, so I can't regret. I can't regret because I learned so much. I learned so much. Who I was, why I was, patterns that I had, um, traumas that I've had, this energies that I find myself in, things that I didn't even realize were affecting my life. I've learned and pulled a lot from it. So some kind, sometimes God puts things in our lives, people in our lives, um, things we think we want in our lives, so that when we're going after it, we keep getting hit and keep getting hit and keep getting hit. That we learn the lessons that we're supposed to learn. That we have the human experience that we came here to have. So I've learned not to regret the time and energy that I've put into things. Not to regret the time, the energy, the money, the finances, all that I put into things, like, oh, what a waste of time. That's not true. I learned so much. And the answers are coming to me right now, explaining to me, helping me learn and understand why. Don't have any regrets. Keep moving forward. Be happy for what you've learned. Be grateful for what you've learned. Be grateful that you can help and serve and love and lift but if that thing you're chasing is not supposed to be in your life, it won't be no matter what you do. But you will be blessed with something even better. I love you. Enjoy the day.